Okay, I know what you're thinking. Another Mavic 2 Pro video on YouTube right now. Like what could this guy have to say or teach me that I haven't already watched? But he's got a pretty cool thumbnail, so I'm gonna give him a chance and see what he has to say. <laughs> That's right. There's currently a seemingly endless sea of Mavic 2 videos out there right now for you guys to wade through. And it really is difficult to determine which ones are valuable and which ones are full of mundane stats and images that you've seen a hundred times already. Now, which category is this video gonna fall under? I don't know, but I'm sure you're gonna let me know down in the comments. But what I'm gonna discuss in this video is why I, as a Mavic Pro and Mavic Air owner, purchased the Mavic 2 Pro. What is the number one reason that I upgraded when I already have two of the best drones on the market? And then I'm gonna tell you guys if you should just keep your current drone or get the Mavic 2 Pro. But first, check out this footage I got in the Badlands of North Dakota. Peter McHu, these are the real Badlands Pete. <laughs> so that was footage from my Mavic 2 Pro. 100% raw, unedited footage, shot at 4K at 30 frames per second. Shot in auto, auto white balance, no color, H.264, and in the middle of the day. What? That's right, with no effort whatsoever on my part. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. But first, I'm gonna ask you guys for 78 seconds of your time to tell you about something that is totally relevant to the point of this video. So listen up. Now, many of you know I just passed my part 107 exam to become an FAA commercial drone pilot. Now, the biggest reason I did that was to bring more credibility to my channel for you guys, but I also did it to make money with my quads. But one thing I didn't consider, and I think a lot of people don't, is the topic of insurance. For most jobs, you need liability insurance. Actually, most contracts require mandatory insurance before they will even consider you. I approached a realtor friend a couple weeks ago and I asked him if I could get some property footage for him. And the very first thing he asked me was, well, do you have liability insurance? And I didn't. But then I found Skywatch. Skywatch AI is an on-demand drone insurance app. Skywatch allows you to purchase insurance for individual paying drone jobs, like real estate, for example. If you happen to damage any property during your covered flight, Skywatch will cover those damages up to $10 million. The rates are dependent upon flight duration and location, and they use real-time risk assessment for things like TFR and no-fly zones. And the safer you fly, the lower your rates. More hours of accident-free flying leads to bigger discounts. And if you guys wanna learn more about it, I'll put a link down in the description. So the Mavic Pro was my very first drone ever. It's what got me into flying quadcopters and more importantly, it really reignited my passion for photography and videography. It opened up a huge new world with a new perspective, literally. But one thing that I always struggled with up until a couple of months ago was getting footage that met my standards. Having everything set to auto mode just does not work with the Mavic Pro. It's either overexposed or underexposed or the color's too flat or too saturated and many other frustrating outcomes. It took me a long time to figure out how to set everything just right. And then it took even longer to figure out how to edit it appropriately. Then when I finally had it all figured out. This is the DJI Mavic 2 series. That's right the Mavic 2 Pro came along. The Mavic 2 Pro with that Hasselblad camera. If you're watching this, you already know all about this camera, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with the details, but wow, just wow. The capabilities of this camera are next level, and that's in auto, not D-Log, not HLG, no color profile, and auto. This is why I upgraded to the Mavic 2 Pro. Without even lifting a brain cell, I can walk away with impressive footage. Then if I want to step it up yet another level, I can shoot in D-Log to capture every single detail and color. Over 1 billion color combinations. That's billion with a B. My Sony a7 III, which is a very good camera, can only capture in 8-bit which is a measly 16 million different color combinations. Some of you may remember my best settings video for the Mavic Pro where I used Legos as an analogy to auto and D-Log. Well, on the Mavic 2 Pro, this is auto and this is D-Log 10-bit. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna start reaching out for some paying jobs with my drones. And the most important thing, other than having your commercial drone license and insurance, is to be able to produce stunning footage and photos that sell. Your client is looking for something that their client is gonna look at and say, 
I'll take it. Or your local utility company saying, you're hired. It has to impress. And with the Mavic 2 Pro, I can impress with minimal effort. Mavic Pro footage with the right settings and proper post-production, yeah, it looks good. Most people are gonna say, hey, that looks great. But put it next to Mavic 2 Pro footage, even ungraded and unedited Mavic 2 Pro footage, and people will ooh and ah. Then put that next to graded 10-bit D-Log footage, and you will blow their minds. That's why I upgraded you guys. Is it expensive? Yeah, it is. It costs a lot of money. But just consider if you could even do 10 small jobs at around $150 per job, your new flying beauty could be paid for. At least that's how I sold it to my wife. Now, should you upgrade if you already have a Mavic Pro or an Air? I say only if you plan to do something like myself. If you wanna move on to the next level, maybe make a little bit of money with selling your images or stock photography or something like that, or maybe start a YouTube channel. This would be the perfect time to start a YouTube channel, you guys. The Mavic 2 Pro is a perfect subject for it. Then yes, I would upgrade. And then you could sell your Mavic Pro or your Mavic Air or whatever other drone you have and recoup some of the cost of the Mavic 2. But if you just wanna to continue to have fun and get some nice shots to share with people, impress your family, maybe get a few jobs here and there, then the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air are really great, great drones. Now, I've been getting quite a few messages asking me if I still plan to do Mavic Pro and Mavic Air videos. And the answer is yes, absolutely. Most of you are gonna keep your current drones and I wanna be there for you guys and still show you many things about them. Now, one thing though, will I keep the Air for very long? I'm not sure. I don't know if I really need three drones, but I do wanna do some comparisons to the Mavic 2. So for now, I'm gonna keep it. I guess the biggest takeaway here for you guys all is I know it's difficult to justify spending $1,500 or more for a drone, but look for long-term. For a minimum of two years, you will have the ability to capture and deliver professional footage in a portable package with minimal effort. And you very reasonably could recoup your initial investment in a very short amount of time. My advice, get your part 107, get the Mavic 2 Pro, and start making money. And if you wanna start a YouTube channel, you guys, I would be so happy to give you advice and tell you what I have learned over the past two years. Hey, in the comments, tell me if you plan to buy the Mavic 2 Pro or keep your current drone or buy something else. I would like to get a snapshot of what you guys are all thinking. Hopefully this video gave you some information of value. If it did, please hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Mavic Pro, Mavic Air, and Mavic 2 Pro videos. I wanna thank you guys sincerely for watching today. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.